Praise the Lord and good morning to all of you. Again, we're going to read the same verse we read yesterday to meditate upon the word of God today because those two verses have very important truth concerning the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we don't want to make a mistake of falsely understanding the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we have to really pay attention to the word of God, the Holy Bible, even before you would listen to what I am about to share. Please pay attention to the scriptures because the scriptures will keep us in truth and in safety. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 and 4. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. He will oppose and exalt himself over everything that is called God or is worshipped, so that he sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. Now, when we read this verse, we very clearly are able to read and understand this simple sentence. Do not let anyone deceive you in any way. This is the first caution Apostle Paul is giving to us. And he goes on to say, for that day, which is that day, the day of the Lord, which is the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is the day when Jesus is going to return back into this world. So that day of the Lord will not come until rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed. So in order for us to understand this verse in a simple sentence, this is what we need to understand. One of the very important truth of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is mentioned in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. And that the important truth is the man of lawlessness must appear before the day of the Lord appears. The day of the Lord is when Jesus will return. Now, if Jesus will not return until the man of sin or man of lawlessness will be revealed, the theory of secret rapture does not find its way into the Bible. The secret rapture and the teaching of secret rapture is absolutely a false teaching if you really would read the Bible and try to understand. Very simple question anybody needs to ask before trying to understand the difference between the truth and false. Before 1830s, there was never ever a mention of secret rapture. Two different comings of the Lord Jesus Christ ever in the history of Christianity before 1830. When Margaret MacDonald had a prophetic vision and that vision began to multiply its revelation in different forms and today we have ended up with pre-tribulation, post-tribulation and a whole lot of confusion of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. As I've always mentioned earlier, Bible never confuses anyone. So if you really want to know what the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is going to be, just open your Bible and read it for yourself. Right here, Second Thessalonians chapter 2 is very clear. This teaching was propagated after Margaret MacDonald. This teaching was propagated by a group of very good Christians who were unbalanced in their truth. There are a lot of good Christians, even today, wonderful people with true conviction in their heart. But the problem is they are unbalanced with the message of the word of God. This false teaching started to propagate strongly in the 19th century. This group which propagated was called the Irvingites. This false teaching started as a prophecy which was not tested based on the scripture of the word of God. See, now this is a warning. Any prophecy must be tested against the scripture. You cannot take any prophecy at face value. 
go back to the word of god if whatever the prophet has prophesied and it does not contain biblical references please reject those prophecies for your own good because this secret rapture teaching has emerged and infiltrated the church because good christians were unbalanced with the word of god and they did not test that prophecy based on the holy bible henry irving went to dublin where he was heard by a man named j n darby john n darby who taught this teaching about the secret coming of the lord jesus christ to an american doctor named c i scofield and scofield put it into his annotated bible and because he put it into that annotated bible it became widely known all around the world from then on there has been books that has flooded the christian institution from the united states on this false theory about the coming of the lord jesus christ so this false teaching can be clearly challenged with second thessalonians chapter 2 how very simple my dear friends christ cannot come until antichrist has come and calls himself as god so please don't let anyone mislead you in this you can check what i'm sharing with you in the word of god antichrist has to come and he will put himself in the place of god where he would demand people to worship him has that ever happened no when will it happen we don't know but we are all going towards that day of the lord and there is only one day of the lord and there is no two different coming of the lord jesus christ many times people get confused between signs of the end time and the day of the lord jesus christ and they try to associate rapture to the signs of the coming of the lord jesus christ you read page to page from genesis to revelation you will never find in the entire bible anywhere that rapture is a sign of the second coming of the lord jesus christ that is something that will take place when christ returns and there is no two different raptures there's only one we will be caught up in the air when jesus comes so my dear brothers and sisters today second thessalonians chapter 2 has opened our eyes to the truth of god's word keep aside every other teaching read your bible for yourself and ask the holy spirit to guide you based on the holy scriptures so that you and i can be safe in our understanding today also we're going to pray for two ministers we're going to pray for Rao Inderjit Singh he is a minister of planning and we're going to pray for Jitendra Singh and he is a minister of science and technology let us pray heavenly father we want to praise and thank you for this beautiful day that you've given to us and we are so grateful to you for the life that you've given to us and we are so thankful to you for bringing us back to the holy bible Lord that your children are not carried away by any teaching that comes from the mouth of Jabez Ravi but they are carried away and being transformed by the scriptures that are found in the holy bible and as your servant i want to turn the eyes of everyone listening to this message to Jesus Christ and to the word of god the holy bible and father i pray that every falsehood and deception will not take its place in our hearts and that you would help us to overcome this false doctrine and false teaching about the secret coming of the lord jesus christ and give the believers the faith to hold down to to see and to wait for the day that before christ appears antichrist must appear and call himself as god and demand people to worship him and only then christ will return so father thank you for a beautiful way of helping us to understand 
this truth and help us to prepare our hearts for your return as well this morning lord we want to pray for two of these ministers oh god for dear mr rao indrajit singh that you had of mercy and grace would rest upon him give him wisdom protection and counsel that will come from above through the holy spirit that you have placed him as a minister of god over our nation you give him the wisdom to handle it lord lord we also want to pray for mr jitender singh lord we pray that your hand of mercy grace and wisdom will rest upon him we ask you jesus to take charge over his mind and you would guide him give him the wisdom to make the right choices and decisions for our country this morning i want to pray for anybody celebrating their birthday lord may a favor mercy and grace rest upon their lives in a very special way may the protection of god the father rest upon them in jesus name may they be filled in the holy spirit all the time we give you glory honor and praise in jesus name we pray and all god's people said amen and amen god bless you friends have a wonderful day continue to ponder on the truth of god's word and walk in the ways of god god bless you see you again tomorrow goodbye